pocket, driving my gun in my trunk. Gave you loyalty, love in my trust, but that wasn't enough. What the fuck do you want? I ain't Welcome back to WSU Radio. I'm on Condra Station, all over New York City, which I was I kept. We had to bring him out. He went crazy on his freestyle. We saw everywhere. Cosplays in the building. How's it going? Shit, chilling. Uh, How's life? How's everything? Can't complain. Springman right now, you just got posted on what NYC sounds like. Yeah. Top 10 talents under 10K. How you feel about that? Shit, about time. Niggas. Niggas waking up slow. It's like the slow grind. Everybody can't get one song. Slow grind. Hmm. You, so you feel like you're underrated? I, outside of Harlem, yeah. But in Harlem, nah, I don't know. Niggas know what's so. up. Mm. They show you love in Harlem? Yeah, that's a fact. That show you. Mm. What part of Harlem are you from? Manhattan, 131st Amsterdam, my side. Mm. Are you tuned in with any of like, the Harlem drill rappers out there? Yeah, um, everybody from St. Nick. Um, I mean, niggas that's like hot, like, you know, um, Sugar Hill niggas. My son, Jerm Lowe from Broadway. My son, my son, nice like, G Money. My son, D Rose. Rose they need. That's it. But I as far as like other things that rap, I see it. Like, you know, some pages might post it and shit. I too, I listen to everything. I like just listen. How's life was growing up in Harlem? Shit. That shit was lit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit was lit. I go for it. It was fun. Niggas. Niggas did a lot of shit. Fun shit. Okay. So he was there for the all since the beginning. Oh, yeah, from the start. Oh, the punches. So, what's the funniest story you guys have together? Yo, the funniest both of y'all are the shit. The bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Going to, to my crib in the Bronx one time. I don't know what no, we was I going there for. <laughs> we, used to, we, had, we used to always have bikes every trip. We go to the Bronx. We on the Grand Concourse. Me and my son Bill's on the other bike. These two niggas on their bike. He, uh, he on the pegs. <laughs> nigga hit an old man. <laughs> nigga <laughs> fell. Nigga jumps off the pegs and start running. <laughs> this nigga helping the nigga. I'm like, hey, yo, we out, we out. That's dope. Boy. We just talk about that. But <laughs> now we got mad funny stories, though. A lot of funny shit. <laughs> so he was there when you first started rapping. How? Yeah, yeah. So how long ago was That's when you first started rapping? When I first, um. College, one fuck. I fucked up in college, and then I like so like I made a song in 2018, and we had it for a minute. And my son Lebo, shout out my son I was busy. He used to just go to the stool, and I used to just go, but we was just fucking around, and then we dropped the shit. And niggas was fucking with it, but I was just like, feel me, still not really into the shit. But probably like I say like 2019, I was like I'm like. That's why I first dropped a the mixtape. Then I stopped rapping for a whole year. 2020, I just... It was like, I... Like I it's like, I see niggas rapping, and then, like, niggas, you see niggas going, and I'm doing my own thing. I feel me, I'm good, but I just... So what made I'm you like, take that break in 2019 to 2020? It was like, I wasn't getting... I, I feel like I wasn't getting out of it. Being impatient, that's what it was. So being impatient, mm-hmm. I feel like I wasn't getting nothing out of it. And then I dropped a tape. I, I started getting that money. Niggas start asking to do so and so, man. Nah, I could fuck it. Then I just see niggas go far, and I was like, nah, I'm just as good or I'm better than this. I could do that shit. Just. Well, so the rappers that you saw was going far, like, damn. Yeah, I'm looking like, damn. Like, now I'm hanging shit, but also, like, I could, if he could do it, I could definitely do it. That shit just consistency. You gotta be consistent. Mm-hmm. Stay consistent. So, definitely. 2019 was when you first, like, all right, let me start taking this serious. Like, in the end, going into 2020. I was like, just like I'm, I'm put my money towards this shit. Mm-hmm. I'm just locking. Are you, so looking back from right end of twenty twenty to now, do you feel like you're satisfied with where your career has gone? Not even satisfied, but definitely like happy with the growth, the progression, like the lock in, like mm-hmm. like that. Like from twenty twenty, I was just talking to my son about that. I feel like like my song now is like, cause I'll be like creating shit like instead of just trying to rap for two minutes like mm-hmm. think shit out create shit definitely like you know it's a lot of samples now so i've been listening to old school songs like just in in the game now like i'm locked into this shit you're a big fan of the samples nah yeah i thought i thought i was one of the first niggas to start this shit that was my first 100k a sample song 
there's a song called What You Want, where I did that, like, in fucking February, but in, like, 2021 or 2020, I think. Niggas wasn't really doing that. My son Show Beats. I seen Show Beats post some shit. I heard this shit. I'm like, yo, this shit. Because <laughs> I, I never heard, like, a simple beat, like, mesh with what's going on now. I'm like, yo, this is different. Whole trash. Nah, was, do you feel like it's oversaturated right now? I think there's a. Is nah, I, f- I like that shit. Like niggas is getting creative. I I I just heard some shit. Um, with Felice not be that on that. I was like that. Like a producer really can sit down and break that shit down. Like know how to put it with the beats. It's that shit fire. You know what, what drill the sample beat is OD right now. Um, the 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 four one bop. I think they just dropped. It's like a Kanye sample. Okay, yeah. That shit crazy. That shit I fuck with that. How do you feel about how 4 1 taking over the whole New York scene? I mean, that, that's fire. Like, anybody that come up. Like, if I don't like you, I like you. That shit fire. Like, like yeah. they consistent. That's fire. And, then, and it's, a, it's, it's, it's more than one of them. They, they like, yeah, gel yeah. together, right? Because yeah, they're saying now that Brooklyn's taking over. Because with the Bronx, they took over, but they always group Harlem and the Bronx together. Now, yeah, I've seen that shit. The Sugar Hill shit, they be seeing it from the Bronx. Yeah. Like, people be assuming they from the Bronx. But, nah. but, I mean, like, Brooklyn? Brooklyn is Brooklyn. Brooklyn is <laughs> yeah, You know, that shit big as fuck. You think Harlem was going to take over? Niggas could. Niggas got to be consistent. Like, niggas, I don't feel like Harlem niggas take it serious. Harlem, I don't, Harlem niggas feel like, like, because we Harlem, niggas is supposed to bump us. Harlem is the best borough. Same, but. Why do you feel like Harlem is the best borough? It's wavy. Harlem is wavy. Harlem is Harlem. So would you say that Harlem got the best baddies out of all like the boroughs? Like bitches? Mm-hmm. Cha! <laughs> <laughs> Can't lie me out with that. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Shit, so which borough do you think got the best bitches? <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. You can't answer that? Could you answer that? Oh, no. Mm. I don't know. Probably the biggest borough. What was the big? What's the biggest borough? Queens the biggest borough, right? Like Brooklyn. Brooklyn, I think. Brooklyn, I think. Queens not the biggest borough. One, mm. whatever. Probably one of the biggest boroughs. There's more, more, more girls out there. More bitches, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, but with the rise of the drill, right now we're in, we're at the scene of the female drill scene. Female drill rappers coming out a lot. Which one do you think is the baddest one? I don't know. That is one of the best for my for these niggas. That's a down one. That's my best friend too. This is an interview. That's a nice <laughs> <my> best friend. <laughs> the baddest one. The baddest. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. I ain't, I ain't in that. But they don't. They nice though. They nice. Nah, yeah, but they nice. They definitely nice. I don't know the baddest though. So you keep you keep talking about consistency. How important is consistency right now, Joe? Because there's so many drill rappers coming out everywhere. Yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta keep keep your name in the mix, mm-hmm. okay? And, and don't rush it too. Don't just get a beat and just 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 go to the studio recorders. Make sure like, I mean, if you gotta put one song at a time, or if you could get good songs and you go every week or something, shit. just just stay in the mix though, like. So how does Cast Bliss stay in the mix right now? Shit. My songs be dragging out, cause my shits be fire. But, but before like my song, my gown and out song, I was dropping before that one. I think I dropped like four songs, like back to back to back to back. And then my son Junior did a, a TikTok, and that shit, he did like five hundred. And then somebody else did it. His man's did like three mil. Then the girl did it, did like four mil. So it's like people kept tagging me, like, yo, where this that with? And he's finding me and finding other music. So mm. then I'm like, oh, no, niggas might be fucking with me. So, are you the type of person to like make music for yourself or the fans? Like, you know, tuned in. No, I, I most time I write to my mood. But if I get a if I get a beat, I, I might like do it. Like yo, what like like on the hook? I'm like yo, what what part makes somebody replay the song? Or like if I say this, nigga, like oh, like you feel me? Like it's a dancing beat. You gotta say something catchy. But most of the time I write to my mood. Okay, and like, do you send it? Do you send your music to like your bros and stuff like that to help like see which ones you want to drop? How do you, what's like your drop process? I I I go to the studio. I probably got like eight songs written or song. I don't like going just to do one song, but I do it. And then like after that, it's be like whatever one niggas fuck with the ones, I drop it. 
Mm. What was the longest studio session like? The long, God, on oh, my son Vivo's birthday. We was in that shit like eight at night, but like 12 in the afternoon. Or, it was lit though, it was lit though. It was like a studio party. That oh. shit was dumb long. <laughs> dumb How many songs you guys made? Shit, that day I think, I think he finished his whole tape. I did a song with him, and I did like five songs. No, I'm lying. My my Golden Child EP got eight songs. I did eight songs. Mm. Yeah, I finished my whole EP. What was the shortest amount of time you took to make one song? Because you know you hear all these big rappers like yeah, take I, like I, ten, I, five I think minutes. Be lying, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never do no ten minute song. The the shortest I probably took to make a song a day. All right, because you see, like, Wayne, they say, like, Wayne come in, like, nah, 30 but, seconds. I mean, if you, him, like, him don't say, he live in the stool. So he got stool. So my niggas that don't, like, got to go to the stool and pay to go to the stool. I ain't gonna lie, I walked in the in five minutes. Man, you did that, you tough. <laughs> that's why niggas' song don't be having no content to it. Mm. Because, nah, nah I, ain't, I ain't doing that, though. How important is it storytelling in a in song? Because I know it was a yeah, lot. It's like on the pain beat. Yeah. You, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, they gotta feel it. Like, it can't just right. be you, like. They got us, people got to feel it. Mm. it definitely. Know. But when, when you making a pain song, no most of it, if it's if it's real, it's things as, as everybody. A lot of people go through the same stuff. They gonna feel that shit. Right. They gonna feel that shit. Those probably that's an easy song. Like pain songs be easy songs to write. Do you, do you feel like rap lost its substance now than how it was before? I want to say lost its substance. It's just it's it's different now. It's like like basketball. It's easy. It's, you don't need a big man no more to shoot threes. And people are into drill now. So if you got a good drill substance, it's, it's, you're going to be nice. Right. And back then it was like Nas, he talking to people. Right. Feel me? So the substance is different. So I want to say it's less. It's just. Do you feel like it will ever go back to like how it was Nas? Or even like the it babies? Could. It could. Because. Because. Once you, once you get a platform and you got enough fan. Like you got your fan base is big enough. People gonna listen to whatever you drop, so it's like 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 Polo G, he started like with drill, but you see he make a lot of like songs mm. with content, and if other rappers like get a fan base and fly, I don't want to do this no more. Get into that lane. Right? Do you feel like drill is commercial? Yeah, you could you could make it right there. Nigga, nigga, one fame went viral. Say a, make it, <laughs> make it commercial. Over the ad libs and stuff. Yeah. So what's a cosplay's ad lib? When I'm listening to a cosplay song, what am I always gonna hear? I would just be bugging the gang. That's a fact. Let me trip. Come on, sir. Are you a freestyler? Do you st- write in like. No, I, I like to write, but I could, like. I've done songs, like, if I came in with, like, a little bit, and I could just. But I, I'd rather write. Mm-hmm. I'd rather be prepared. I like going to the studio. Mm-hmm. I, shit, sometimes I'll be writing my eyelids in the phone. That I, I What's the prepared. best bar you ever wrote? The best bar? You ever wrote, yeah. That's ball, bro. It's tough shit. <laughs> That's a good ass question. I think I just wrote some shit the other day. I said, I said some funny shit. I told the nigga that's my best ball. Mm-hmm. That's 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 a good ass question. I don't, I don't know. Mm-hmm. My favorite song though, Violent Crimes. Oh, okay. Like my favorite song. Okay. And right now, you probably have so many songs in the vault, right? Like in the t- yeah, I got, yeah. I got. Yeah. So how do you decide what songs you want to start dropping, or what songs you want to keep? Shit. Some sometimes I'll be wearing like the Triller decide. Post a Triller. Mm. Shit go crazy or some shit. But some songs you just know. You just know. Like, I like sending songs to my son T Rock because he's going to keep it a Okay. A lot of niggas be on some. Uh, you know, every, everything fire to your mm-hmm. friends. You know, some friends be good. Like, I, I like my son Rock or my mom's. She going to say it. She going to say that mm-hmm. shit trash. <laughs> she keep it a How does your mom feel about, you know, drill rapping and everything? I don't really think she pay attention to it. Just support. I don't mm-hmm. really think she pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. And with the whole, with the drill rap, a lot of says the beats. Do you, what do you consider drill rap? Is it the beats or what people are saying? Because a lot of people consider the young and A's, the who I smoke drill, but that's not a drill beat. So yeah, I die. Drill rap is, yeah, I feel like it's what you want. Because when the Chicago niggas was doing shit, they ain't had the same type of beats as us. 
I feel like it's it's, it's whatever because people make they, he, then they just drill rap to a Fantasia song, right? It's a, yeah, so so I, I feel like it's it's which is which is like the content okay, of the song. Man. So back to your saying with the drill rap, I want to know in the long run who which city will have the most impact in the drill scene: Chicago or New York? It depends how far people in New York make it, because. I mean, Dirk ain't on drill no more, but he star. He's like a pioneer for them. So Dirk went far. He even had Vaughn, um, Keith, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. But like, just we got to just have more product out there. Right. Definitely and, get more product out there. And seeing the drill rap right now, you see how you're saying that Dirk and Polo, you know, they switched to melodic and said, so "Do yeah. you see any of these drill rappers can transition from just the grab grab boom into the melodic?" So you can do whatever you put your mind to. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever you put your mind to. Mm. That's that's the point of being an artist, though. You 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 gotta be versatile. Mm. You can't just be straightforward every time. Do you like the label of a drill rapper, or do you want to be called as an artist? Shit, I would. I don't. I don't care. But the, I, it don't matter because they say you drill rapper. I said my first hundred K song wasn't even a drill song. I, I could, yeah, whatever they want. <laughs> some some people like my rapping songs more than my drill songs. So another person might tell you, like, yo, my son, yeah, he an artist. Or somebody might say, yeah, drill rapper. Right. Do you feel like the most lyrical rapper in New York right now? In New York? Upcoming. I feel like upcoming. In New York, I'm top five. Top five? I can five. talk. All right, I can talk. Right. All right. And then right now we're in 2022. We're in the summer. Everyone's looking at their summer anthem. Summer song, what are you? Are what? Are, what is the next drop for you? Nah, I got a summer song, Free Bills. That's the name of the track too. Free Bills, definitely got a summer song. When can we see that coming out? This month, I Free the Home Team dropped on this month. Free Bills, Free Zell, Free White. What's up? I put Free Bills, Free Zell, Free White, Free Gary. And I'm gonna do a deluxe. Free my son, P. Dot. Like all the bros that's locked up, all the songs named after one of the bros. Mm-hmm. Free the home team. How how Definitely. special is that? Like how important is that for you to name the songs that you're free, you know, <clears throat> free all them? Man, like, all my songs fuck on my track, so it's like, and those really my songs, so it's like, just gotta put on for the bro, the free the home team. What? And yeah. playing the bros, you know what I'm saying? Even the ones out, right? So let's say you make it to the top, right? You know, when you're talking about like Dirk and Polo, yeah. do you feel like you're obligated to bring every single person you know with you? I'm not obligated to. I'm not obligated to. Yeah. <laughs> shit, everybody got to get it on their own. But if I do, like, I would put my man to position. We had these conversations. We had these conversations. Everybody could work within their family tree. You always could feel me? Mm-hmm. Bodyguards, fucking manager. It's a lot of shit they could do. Some of my mans make clothes. You know, so what's some of the clothes they make? Some Bezo Unexpected, um, Drip Bazel. Say your shit, my son about to do his shit too. I said that was the meaning. Yeah, definitely. I'm my son Eli too. Only child in New York City. All right, man. Yeah. Not definitely, but everybody, everybody like everybody that I'm around now, like in my circle, niggas know the plans. And as far as me, it's like a nigga can't do it for me. So it's like I'm locked in. Are you? Are you using rap to venture out to different businesses? Hell oh, yeah. What other businesses would you want to tap in? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Everything. Shit, I, I, I stop rapping. I, I'm not a nigga that really, really good rap. Like, I, I, I want to, like, produce and, like, feel me fuck with shit like, mm-hmm. like that. Like, you see Lil Bibby? Yeah. Like, he just, I know he nice. Niggas know he nice. He just went to the corner, found better artists, and right. his niggas that he was rapping with. And my son, Two Tech, shout out to Two Tech. My son is different. Different. And you said producing, you want to learn producing. So, what is a cosplay type B? A cosplay type B? Ta. What's my type B? Shit. Don't. Like, for me to rap on? Yeah, so, like, oh, right like after the producers did. watching, right? They're like, oh, shit, you throw some. I fuck with that jersey shit. That jersey with the little drill in mm-hmm. it. I fuck with that shit. Right. Yeah, really in my last shit. interview, we were talking about how if they, if you think a producer would ever put a, you know how they put the drill in Jersey, they ever put the drill and Detroit type beat together. 
I'm looking at each other. He fuck with them man. Cause they they be talking. It just it just be like they really be talking. That but that they be saying fire shit. The baby face Ray from Detroit, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, I fuck with. That's what I'm saying. Like, and there's there's some Detroit rap like Detroit type beat rappers in um the Bronx too. In the Bronx, yeah, hell yeah, there is. There is. Boy, so that'll do like me and shit. Maybe fuck with that shit. <laughs> So the, we was there discussing like, will we ever see a drill in Detroit in one song? That's what I'm trying to say. Producers, when they be putting them sample shits, the somebody, bro, you said that and niggas watching, somebody gonna try to do it. I get out go get Greg in them. But nah, that 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 shit. All right. Niggas is nice. I see somebody doing that. Right. We well, just talking about the whole Detroit scene, yeah. drill scene. It's a whole different. A whole different because like, with the Detroit type beat in the Bronx, I don't know if you know who Self Made Kev is. Self Made Kev, I probably I probably oh, yeah. yeah, him and this other kid called Aqua Rich and Self Made Kev. He only makes Detroit type beats. He don't do no drill. And with the Detroit, like he got a feature with Babyface Ray. That's mm-hmm. fine. Self Made Kev, he is a rapper. Mm-hmm. He light skin. He fit. He got hair. Like that way. I I now my son um for my son's from three six be sharing. I definitely seen that. I seen that. I definitely seen that. Shit. He he they had put him on the gram. They say he co-signed him. Mm. I seen that shit. Yeah, that's fire. I seen that. Like I feel like New York. There's so many different scenes in here. Like you got the melodic scene. Do you feel like what what do you think is the sound of New York? Is it, you think right now is just a drill? Nah, I don't know. Um, a little TJ from New York. Shit, he he lit niggas. Um, Jr. Nice, a boogie. So the melodic is the no, same I'm, no, no, I'm saying like New York is New York. Like you can't you you can't come and put your hand in New York and just like, like you can put your hand in Atlanta and nine out of ten you're gonna get the same fish. You put your hand in New York, shit, you gonna get it. Niggas nice at everything. Everything. Right. Niggas nice at everything. Niggas real rap, drill rap, melodic rap. And niggas nice. Mm-hmm. I, I'm New York lit right now. It's a fact. Do you feel like New York is the best, the biggest city in music right now? You know, Atlanta, Chicago, LA. I mean, damn, shit. On TikTok is out of New York, Philly, or Jersey. I don't think Philly got that much. Nah, Philly don't. Philly like lip they dance in Jersey, like, but like the artists, New York, is bigger. I mean, With the Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta they got, yeah, Atlanta got the fucking big face artists right now because you know in Atlanta them they everybody over arms in New York you gotta get yours right. shit somebody might fuck with you in New York but a nigga might not fuck with you because he fuck with him so that shit be hard but you know how to get sturdy? I know how to get so I don't be heavy on that shit <laughs> <laughs> nah right. but nah but I New York I don't feel like nobody I feel like everybody was like how uh, Atlanta is everybody get somebody else a helping hand if New York was like that shit oh my god Right. Should be crazy. Right. And then my last question, I always ask this question: What type of legacy do you want to have with the name Cosplays? Shit. I, shit. I just be dreaming, talking with demons. Nah, but <laughs> not nah, yeah. Go shoot Valakrons too, but nah. Shit, bro. I want to be big, like big, big. I want, and I want like. Like now, like I gotta make music for people to fuck me. But when I get that fan base, I want, I want to like touch. I want right. to. You have a small fan base right now, right? Huh? You always say you have a fan base right now. So. No hell yeah, but I want it. Like you know what I'm right. saying? But like I want my music to touch people. I want that right. meaning. Like even if it's a drill song, you know I make pain drill songs. Yeah. Like I want my shit to have meaning. Before we go, what would you say is your weirdest fan interaction? Weirdest fan or interaction? If it's not a person, what was the weirdest thing someone said to you in your DM? My weirdest fan interaction. I ain't gonna. I, I fuck with the niggas. Niggas don't do it on funny shit. <laughs> nah, or it on, on the gram. Nobody niggas. Cause you know one thing too. Niggas don't like anybody that share my shit. I'm, I'm if I don't repost it, cause sometimes I want too much shit in my story. I'm going to respond to the shit. So it won't be like. Cause sometimes some niggas like write me funny shit. We probably have like funny conversations and shit. I'll be playing niggas from like 2K and shit. You know, some lit shit. I was playing my park in 2K and the nigga was playing this shit. Like, you could hear the shit. I went to game chat to talk shit to the nigga because he won and I heard my shit. And they was like, tell me what you want, be." I'm like, oh, that's fire. <laughs> that was fire. But I never had a weird interaction. All right. All right. And where people can find you on Instagram, 
cost, everything costs blood. Everything and costs blood. What do you want to say before I head out to the fans and supporters? 2022 summer, going crazy. By then, 2022, I can lie, we're going to be top five in the city. Guaranteed. Free the home team. Dropping this one for you. Free the guys. Thank you for coming through.